straight mayhem out here. In the protests and those immediate days, weeks, a lot of the national organizations and local nonprofits weren't exactly able to penetrate the movement at that point. And a lot of the grassroots organizations that eventually emerged didn't exist at the time. So it was organic, I would say, on the ground, especially in the later months and years after. There was a mentality built amongst activists locally that shunned any big name so-called leaders that tried to come and attach themselves to what we were doing. Nonprofits and the so-called leaders were trying to position themselves to control the narrative of what was happening in the streets in Ferguson. One nonprofit, Black Lives Matter, they were successful at what they did. Now any movement or protest that happens in the United States that involves Black people, they're automatically uh, affiliated with that organization. So they were successful at what they were trying to accomplish in my eyes. But the other ones, they were pushed out. Black Lives Matter should have been pushed out, but they weren't. 